Hey everybody, this is Mayank. So one thing when you're working with text fields, something annoying occurs. Sometimes maybe the keyboard overlaps the text fields or the keyboard does not go back when you press the return key on the keyboard. So today I'm gonna show you guys how to fix these text field keyboard problems. And so let's get started. Create a new Xcode project. Create a new Xcode project and then you'll see a single view application next and write a product name i will give it text field app next and create so here i have my application and i'll be making some changes in it to show you guys how to fix the text field issues so first add the scroll view on your view controller just put up some constraint on it now add a text field on the scroll view that you have taken here and I've added the text field and add some constraint reset to suggested one now you gotta go to your view controller file and just make the outlet of your text field in the class view controller file i will name it text field connect and drag it up here and go to the option of delegate and add the ui text field delegate in your view controller ui text field delegate now you also need to add the outlet of your scroll view here in your class so just make it scroll view connect now all you need to do is to write a small piece of code that is just write the text field that begin editing and in this just add the coordinates that you want to change when the keyboard will be coming up on the view so scroll view dot set offset content offset and right here cg point cg point and the coordinates that you want to change the x coordinate will be uh, about zero remain 0 and the y1 will change to 250 approximately so animate it true and let's build and run this and see what happens so when you clear click here on your text field it will go up like this now if you want the keyboard to go back away uh, when you click on this return key all you need to do is to write some more piece of code like this add text field did and editing and copy this scroll view dot set offset content code and write it down here with the changed cons changed coordinates x0 and y0 and also add one more function that is text field should return and in this function you need to write text field dot resign first responder return into return true and just build and run this and you will see the changes that I have made in this So here we have our application and when we click on this text field it will go up and when we click on this return key the keyboard should go away like we yeah and the text field comes back on its original position like this. So you can also deal with multiple text field in the same way you need to add the delegate method to each one of your text field. 
and just explore it out and you can add the conditions right here in your did begin editing like if you want to change the coordinate of any of the text field you can name it right here in the if and else cases and just play with it so thanks for now be sure to hit the like button down below if you like the video and subscribe my channel for more such videos in future so i will see you in the next one bye bye